Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I've got a QA and a video for you. Um, Darwin and Gilly are both in the house and both roaming around so you'll probably see them at some point in this video. Um, but yes, I asked on my Insta stories and I asked on a couple of videos if anybody had any questions. Some of you did. So I wrote them down because I'm old school. Um, I've got quite a few so I'm going to try really hard not to ramble. Um, you all right, Gil? You want to sit down? Oh, good boy. Look at that face. Beautiful. Right. <laughs> um, oh, and there's the Darwin. Hello, Darwin. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, you're going to be the reason why this video takes so long. Come and sit over here, please. Come on. Sit here. There you go. You're out of the camera and I can stroke your head. So, um, I've not cat put this in categories or anything, so I'm just going to try my best to work through it without rambling too much. Um, okay, favourite TV show, Game of Thrones, hands down. Currently re-watching um, it from the beginning, because the last series or the new series um, starts in April. We are currently on season four. Um, so yes, that's favourite TV show. Uh, how much weight have you lost this year? Um, at the point of recording this, and I think today is the 7th of Feb, um, I have lost nine and a half pounds this year. Um, however, this is, or my plan is, to edit this and have it up for when we're away on holiday. Uh, while I am holiday on holiday, I shall be eating all the food. Um, so probably as you're watching this, that's not my weight loss <laughs> total for the year. It's going to be less than that. But that's what it is at the point of recording. Um, would you ever have a cat? No. Um, Darwin and Gilly both have pretty high prey drives. Prey, prey drive? That, yeah, that's the right term, isn't it? Prey drive. Um, they don't like cats. Darwin especially. Gilly will bark, but he's not really sure what he's barking at. <laughs> Whereas Darwin does not like them. Same as squirrels, hedgehogs, all of that kind of anything smaller than themselves that happens to be furry, they don't like. Um, so yeah, it's kind of never gonna happen. No. Oh, oh, oh. That's caffeine free diet Pepsi if anyone's interested. Um, da, 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 da. Dream car. Uh, I don't drive. So I don't really, I'm not that bothered <laughs> about cars. Um, apologies if I'm repeating stuff that people already know, but I have had uh, a little bit of a jump in subscribers lately. So hi if you're new um, and hi if you've been here a while and I apologize if I'm repeating stuff you know. Um, but yeah, dream car, I don't drive. Um, so I don't have a dream car. Uh, would I like to drive? Mm, no. <laughs> John bought me a little silver oh, Saxo, Peugeot, one of those, uh, a couple of years ago. Um, I had about five lessons, four lessons, hated it. Uh, I have no sense of direction, like no sense of direction. Um, I also get very easily distracted uh, and I'd be like, I've vlogged, I've vlogged these lessons. They are on our hard drive, never to be seen by, by uh, another human eye, but like in my little silver car and there's John going, hurry up, Kate, Kate, you can go faster, Kate, come on, Kate. And I'm like, I don't want to go any faster. And I'm like, oh, puppy. <laughs> I'm just... It's not something I'm going to be, ever be good at, so it's not something I really want to do. Um, and then somebody else asked what type of car we have. It's a black estate. I want to say... It's the one that's got the Lego on that looks like Thundercats. Um, Vauxhall? Insignia? Is that a car? It's a black estate that we can get both dogs in the boot quite easily. <laughs> um, you can say, see, I had a real input in that. Uh, John picked the car. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, what breed are the dogs? What are the dogs' names? That's another one. 
Um, so our older dog, which is the blonde one that likes to put his face right here, um, that's Darwin George. He's currently being stroked and giving me paw down here. Um, Darwin George is a Whippet Greyhound Cross. He was a rescue dog. He had a very unpleasant start to life, but we rescued him. Um, I think he was two. He's, we've now had him, I think, seven years. So, you know, he's been with us longer than he wasn't. Um, he was a little bit damaged when we got him. He was scared of um, everything, including leads. We think he'd been whipped. Um, but yeah, he's our baby now. He's also got um, a slight heart murmur. But yeah, he's fine. Um, oh, and those of you asks, uh, asked, yes, about he had he was having antibiotics for a poorly toe. John's actually taking him back to the vets tomorrow for a follow up on that. Um, so hopefully everything is fine. The swelling has gone down beautifully. Uh, Gilly is our puppy. There he is. Um, Gilly is also a Whippet cross. He is crossed with um, a long, this, a long haired lurcher in his family bloodline somewhere, which is why he's a bit fluffier than Darwin. Um, and there's also Greyhound in him. He's just not quite as purebred as Darwin is. We had Gilly from a puppy. We vlogged because back when we when we got Gilly, we were we were vlogging. So um, there are vlogs with baby Gilly and brunette Katie. <laughs> but yeah, um, so Gilly has has been on YouTube since forever. Um, do, 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 tipple of choice. Um, I I'm not really a wine drinker. Uh, vodka and um i like captain morgan's spice rum with coke uh you know a blue alco pop i'm not classy uh I, you know a lot of people are into gin i don't like gin i feel like that's very unfashionable to say because everybody's into gin right now um i don't like it i've never liked it uh, we went to a wedding last year and they actually had a gin bar and everything was very gin themed. Like their table decorations were bottles of gin. Um, the wedding favours were little gins. Um, they had a gin bar where all the gin was free. <laughs> uh, and the, the waiter, the gin expert, said, oh, what's your favourite gin? I went, oh, I'm okay, can I have a lemonade please I don't like gin and he was like you just haven't tried the right one I tried a good four no nah. um so yeah I'm, I'm kind of a vodka diet coke uh amaretto and diet coke captain morgan spice and coke I'm a bit or you know say something that's blue and pink and sparkly cocktails that would work but yeah um da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Uh, holidays there's lots of questions about holidays um, how much holiday do you get from work we went away a lot last year um, in the UK the statutory allowance is 20 working days if you're full-time um, and then you can get bank holidays on top of that and um, we work Saturdays where I work and you can work other people's Saturdays to get holiday like favours uh, and also my boss is kind of okay if we want to take on paid leave he's he's all right with that so that is why I have so much holiday um are we going on holiday this year we are going to Poland uh end of Feb or middle of Feb um like it's over our anniversary not our wedding anniversary it's our anniversary of being together um we're probably do a second trip to Poland at some point this year I would really like to fit in a hot holiday this year because we didn't even though it was very hot when we went to Poland in the summer I'd really like to go to like Egypt or Morocco again this year but I'm not sure with everything else financially we're kind of looking at this year I don't know if that's going to happen but I'd like a nice summer holiday like hot holiday um 
was that all the holiday questions oh no have you ever been to america i've never been to america john has uh he used to work for asda which is part of walmart um and when he was working there he had a full um fully paid trip to arkansas uh he loved it um but i've never been to america um would i like to go to america yes um, and this kind of dream holiday or dream vacation location, vacation location, um, is Texas. Uh, John and I would love to go to Texas. Uh, we've already discussed it in great detail. You know, we'd want to go for uh, like two, three weeks. Uh, I already know the time of year I want to go around Thanksgiving. Um, one, because John is a big Cowboys fan. They're from Texas uh, and apparently there's lots of good American football at that time of year um, and also just after Thanksgiving is when all the Christmas stuff comes out so you get I'd get to do all of that uh, and buy lots of wonderful Christmas decorations to bring home so and you know I want to shop in all the places that you see um, and I want to go to Walmart and Target and Dollar Store and and just do all of that kind of thing um, bit scared of guns but you know and there's a lot of those in Texas but I'm sure I will be fine uh, other dream holiday vacation uh, I've always wanted to go to Japan it's something I really like to do uh, I'd also really like to go to Thailand um, it's just it's one of those places that's, that's on my list uh, love Morocco obviously we've been there um, and I love Egypt it always have a Algarda will always have a little in my heart. We went there on our honeymoon. Um, but yeah, basically any travel is a win with me. <laughs> um, oh, favourite food. Um, Christmas dinner. Somebody did actually ask, what's your favourite food? Not including Christmas dinner. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm not one of those people that's going, oh, I love pizza or I love Chinese food or I love tacos. I, I just like all the food, all the food. Uh, a roast dinner is kind of my fave. Um, and obviously Christmas dinner is the best roast dinner. Um, but like roast dinner is up there. Um, favorite YouTube channels. I've actually made a list of this um, in no particular order. Uh, it's M, love her channel. Uh, it's Judy time, first ever a uh, YouTube channel I subscribe to and I'm still subscribed to them. Uh, Fleur de Force is kind of my favourite big UK um, YouTuber. Substainably vegan, really enjoy her channel. I am not vegan, as we know. Um, however, her voice is the most soothing voice and her ethics are amazing. Um, I am not a strong enough person to have that kind of ethics. Um, wouldn't say I necessarily agree with all of her ethics, but I love watching her. Um, Blair Walnuts, uh, she does all these like crazy, um, trying famous people's diets and things. She's really funny, I like her. And um, The Gathered Nest, which is this beautiful um, family uh, where they have a mixture of um, they they have two daughters uh which are like their own genetic um daughters and then they have um two sons and a daughter that they adopted i think two are from outside of america and then one was um and in, from inside america and then they have two little girls which um they did at embryo adoption for so they're kind of like a very interesting um multicultural blended family and they're beautiful and their relationships between the siblings and the mum and the dad are oh, it's just the most war heartwarming channel ever um and i if i'm feeling sad i kind of binge watch binge watch them they make me feel good about human people so yeah they are my favorite youtube channels at the moment um would i have more pets 
<sighs> I'm one of those people whenever whenever I see like puppies or really old dogs that are on like shelter websites I'm like we could fit one more in um and I would probably I would easily have five more Darwins um because he is such a good dog Gilly however who looks very well behaved right now is not <laughs> Gilly is our troublemaker um, he is a lot of work, isn't he? Isn't he? That Gilly is a lot of work. Whereas Darwin George is a good boy. Um, so yeah, uh, I know our house is a little bit small for any more pets. Um, if I could... <laughs> Hello, Bubba. You know I'm talking about you. Um, if you could only have one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Roast dinner. Um... Do you have family in Poland? Um, I don't, John does. So um, our connection with Poland, John's grandparents on his mum's side were Polish. Um, John is um, has his dual nationality, even though he was born here in the UK. Uh, fun fact, we are currently going through the process of getting our marriage approved in Poland. So we're like, there's forms to fill in um, and we send off our wedding certificate even though we got married in the UK um, and then we're going to get a Polish wedding certificate um, da -da 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 -da. Brexit <laughs> oh so yeah so John has family on his mum's side still in Poland um, but I don't have biological family there uh, Brexit um, are we doing politics on this channel? I don't know uh my view on brexit i voted remain everyone has a right to an opinion um but i think thought feel we should stay part of the eu you may have a different opinion which you are entitled to but somebody asked so i'm saying i'm fully remain do you know that's kind of where i am um how long have I been married? Uh, we've been married since 2010. We've been together. Don't we? Come and sit down, please. Come on. Come on. Um, we got married in 2010. Uh, we've been together 16 years on the 22nd of February. Um, do I have a PO box? No, I have a very small channel. Um, that's what celebrities and famous people do. Darwin, can you sit down and stop rubbing your bum on me? Thank you. Um, so no, we don't have a PO box. Um, pork. <laughs> okay, so. I have said in previous videos I don't like pork. Um, and we buy pork quite regularly in our grocery hauls. Reason for this. John likes pork. He would probably eat a pork chop three four times a week if i would give it to him pork is my least favorite protein i don't hate it i don't don't eat it because i'm allergic to it or it's against a religious profile i just it's my least favorite um but john really likes it so i buy the pork that i can deal with and i have it as a compromise because he really likes it that that's that is that simple it's having a meal that i think is meh because John really likes it. So that's that's why I buy pork even though I don't like it. Um, I do think I'm the only person I've ever met, because obviously I've met myself. Uh, I think I'm the only person I've ever met that doesn't like pork crackling. It just, ugh. The amount of people that go on about roast pork and the crackling on it, how amazing it is, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Like, if we go to a carvery and it's pork or a vegetarian option, I have the vegetarian option. That's kind of my view on pork. Um, children, babies, blah, blah, blah. Right, so, I've done videos on this topic and I've sat here and I've cried and I'm not gonna cry in this video. Um, do we have any children? No. Uh, would we like children? Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, plan was always to have lots of children uh, we don't have any um, we have experienced loss in the past 
um, which is the most painful thing I think any individual can experience, um, or talk from personal. Um, are, would we like babies in the future? Yes. Um, are we trying? Um, we're not not trying. Whew. Um, okay, is this your forever home? No. Uh, in my 2019 goals, I said uh, that we would like to move, hopefully this year, but if not this year, next year. Uh, we bought this house in 2009. I think it was the year before we got married. So yeah, 2009. Um, I don't think, well, no, the, the plan is not to sell this house. We would keep this and rent it. Um, but yeah, we would like a bigger home. Um, this whole open plan vibe worked great when we first moved here. Um, but I need more space because I have a lot of stuff. Uh, I'd like a third bedroom really. Um, I'd like a kitchen that I can walk away from. It's that thing, when you have open plan living, um, if your kitchen is a mess, your whole house feels like a mess. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'd like. Um, house tour. Um, mm, I don't know, our second bedroom is awful. Darwin's just on the tripod. Darwin, what are you doing? Um, oh jumping dogs um i'm only really 100 percent happy in our house at christmas because i think it looks pretty um we did some kind of grown-up diy stuff in our in our bedroom last weekend and it looks quite nice there now um i don't know maybe maybe do a house tour um da -da 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 -da. uh perfect date um my perfect date would be um it would probably be like i don't know something like afternoon tea or going to the zoo um i love our sundays where we go and have a carvery and then go and walk around the garden center and you don't actually buy anything in the garden center but it's all very nice and pretty and you just chat rubbish to one another um i'm not a dinner date kind of person i like afternoon tea is food but it's, it's different but yeah, I'd be like, afternoon tea or take me to the zoo, that kind of thing. I love anything with animals in, basically. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, somebody asked about John's mum and dad, bless them. Um, John is originally from Lancashire. We live in Cornwall. I am Cornish. Um, and I think they asked if the John's mum and dad moved down here to be closer to me and John. No, uh, John and his parents bought a business in Cornwall. Um, and they moved from Lancashire to Cornwall and then John had been here about a month and I met him and he fell in love with me and we are happily ever aftering. Um, dream, dinner date, dead or alive. Um, dead, I would pick my dad. Uh, my dad passed away 10 years ago, 2008. Um, 11, no. No, it was longer ago. Oh my goodness, it was it was ten years last year. Um, yeah. So if I got to pick dinner with somebody who's passed away, it would be my dad. I'd do anything to have another conversation with him. Um, and if it was somebody that was alive, I would pick Sean Bean because I kind of love him, and it kind of reminds me of my dad a little bit. <laughs> um doo -doo 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 -doo. favorite place in cornwall um if you don't know we live in cornwall uh favorite place in cornwall anywhere with john which sounds really soppy um i would like to move back to st hostel part of the uh county just because that's where the bulk of my family live um i have lots of nieces and nephews and i feel like I miss out on a lot of that kind of stuff because I live like 40 minutes away. Like it takes 40 minutes for, for in our car and obviously I don't drive. So like I've never seen any of my little nieces school plays or anything like that. Um, so yes, I would like to live there. Um, but my favorite place, um, I really like St. Ives. Um, that's where we got married, the church there. 
um, I like Falmouth, um, that kind of, that kind of vibe. Um, I don't know. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, if I could have all expenses paid degree stroke training, what would I do? Um, I studied law for three years. Because uh, I always thought I wanted to be a lawyer. No. Uh, then I worked in the energy industry for 13 years, um, which I love. And I think if a different government was in power and the funding was in place, uh, I would probably like to go back to that industry. If I was going to retrain, I think I'd probably want to do social work or counselling or something like that. Um, I've just realised I've been talking for 28 minutes. Oh my goodness, longest video ever. Um, but yeah, I think I'd want to do like social work or counselling or therapy, that kind of area. Um, what do I do for a job? Uh, I work for an estate agent. Uh, I'm not an estate agent. I do admin type stuff. Um, and uh, we also do lettings where I work and I am the person that references you to see if you're allowed to have the house or not. Um, do I work full time? Yes, I definitely, definitely do. I left the house at half past seven this morning and I got back at 10 past seven this evening. <laughs> definitely work full time, uh, five and a half days a week. Um, da -da 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 -da. Weight loss diet tips. Uh, your head has to be in the right spot. All the plans work. Basically, you put less in, then you burn and you will lose weight. Be that counting calories, which is, you know, tried and tested one for me, or Weight Watchers or Slimming World or any of the major diet plans, Atkins. As long as you put less in than what... Yeah. But the big thing is your head needs to be in the game. You can't force yourself to do it you have to be ready and um, you have to be like committed because otherwise you do it for three weeks. You know, you lose five pounds the first week, you lose two pounds the next week, the third week you get complacent and you just gain half a pound and then you never go back because your head needs to want it. Um, sorry if that's not helpful. Uh, can you do more what I eat in a day? Yes, if you want it. Uh, why don't you vlog anymore? Um, I do, I do vlog, she says, knowing that she's got three to left to edit on iMovie. Um, I do vlog, we have a vlog channel, it's called Beach Life. Um, our internet's really crappy, we're hopefully going to get something a bit faster in the summer, so we can do it a bit more regularly. Um, but yeah, we do vlog, I shall edit and upload those vlogs um, and we'll be vlogging while we're on holiday so yeah um sorry <laughs> uh have i done what my favorite drink is uh amaretto coke with a dash of lime uh, i think i've done all the questions i've spoken for like half an hour i'm really sorry if this is really long if you made it to the end um put what should we have and put down, George? Um, if you've made it to the end, put... I can't think. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Darwin is ready for his T and a W-A-L-K, so I'm gonna end that there. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Um, take care, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.